For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. What, it, what, what, this is, what this prosecution doing is it's making illegal to tell the truth about government wrongdoing, about government corruption, about torture, about crimes against humanity, about war crimes. I'm Gabriel Shipton, I'm Julian Assange's brother. Uh, governments want to operate uh, in the dark. They don't want people to know what they're doing in their name. And this prosecution is uh, helping them do that. They're making an example of Julian uh, so that everyone around the world can see, uh, you know, if you tell the truth about what's going on, uh, this is what's going to happen to you. Your life will be ruined. Be locked in a prison forever with you know no end in sight your reputation will be destroyed uh, so yeah I think I think it's already happening we're already seeing now that uh, you know the executive editors of the New York Times of the Washington Post have all come out saying that these are great threats to press freedom and that these charges should be dropped and what that means is that in these newspapers uh, they're already seeing the implications uh, you know they're getting um, security stories or stories about the security state that they cannot publish. Uh, so it's an espionage acts from 1917, um, you know, it wasn't, I mean they tried to charge Daniel Ellsberg with it uh, and it didn't, it didn't work, um, but it's after 9-11 it's been increasingly used against whistleblowers, uh, people who work inside the government who give information to the press, uh, but this is the first time it's ever been used against a journalist. Uh, if you read the indictment, uh, it's quite obvious uh, that, that the charges are for receiving and publishing uh, you know, classified information. So uh, that's something that journalists do every day. Uh, so it's basically criminalisation of journalism, criminalisation of investigative journalism, and uh, basically a criminalisation of uh, telling the truth, basically. Judgment handed down by the High Court uh, on Friday. Uh, they approved the extradition of Julian Assange to the US to face espionage. Uh, 17 charges under the Espionage Act for publishing uh, the Chelsea Manning leaks, uh, the Iraq war logs, the Afghan war diaries, uh, cable, the uh, State Department cables, and Guantanamo Bay detainee files. You know, you think it's strange because it is strange. It, it is like you know, what, how can a for, you know, a foreign per, like a foreign publisher be extradited to the United States? So it's like this extraterritorial reach that they're trying to apply laws, uh, United States laws, into other territories around the world, uh, and silence. You know, it's, it, they're setting an example, really, like around the world, people. Uh, all these authoritarian regimes now look at the US and say, well, this is the example that we can follow. You know, we can persecute journalists. Say, like, Saudi Arabia, they look at Jamal, you know, look at Jamal Khashoggi. You know, they, they, they look at Julian and say, well, our biggest ally does this, so, so can we.